this. What a view, right? What a view. There we go. We're moving back into the time where we can go places. We can take our Switch and actually use it in handheld mode and tabletop mode, not in our home. So I thought today I would show you guys everything I carry in my backpack. Every single accessory that I take with me all the time. It all lives in the backpack all the time. And obviously now we know the OLED switch is coming out and it's the same exact shape. So most of this stuff, while it's good for your switch, some of it for a switch light, most of this stuff's gonna fit the, the OLED switch. So we're gonna do things a little bit differently this week. I know last week we left the house and then went out. This week we're actually, oh God, we're actually, we're going back to the house. We need to go back to the house with this, but I did want to stop and just make sure, make sure we got outside a little bit today. It is a nice day. We're actually, we're in a bank parking lot. I don't know why I'm here. I have no idea. Cool view. Okay. All right, guys, so before we jump into this backpack thing, I, I've got a little bit of business to take care of. You guys remember Sean from the Food Supremacy channel that I used to be on uh, six, seven, eight months ago. He's still doing his thing over there, and he got called out to drink one of these in under 35 seconds. It's one of those, you know, you do it, and then tell three other people to do it. So now I'm being pulled into this. Uh, and I, I figured really quick before we uh, before we do the backpack thing here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, easily drink this in 35 seconds, and then I guess I will be calling out three other people to do it as well. So that does not even seem like it's that hard. That's not even that much. How much is this? Oh, it's 17 ounces. It is carbonated though. It's carbonated. Anyway, let's get this out of the way, and uh, we'll get on with this. <laughs> oh, I need a minute. Oh my. Okay, I did it, Sean. There you go, guys. I'll I'll, I'll leave the uh, the food supremacy page in the description if you guys want to check that out. But I'm gonna call out uh, Uncle Jeeb. We'll call out Uncle Jeeb over over on Twitch. Uh, I'll leave links to all these people too. We'll call out Miss Bubbles on YouTube. Leave a link, and I'm gonna call out also um, Alex from Switch Corner. I don't know if he'll actually do it, but that's my third. That's who we'll go with. So. Like I said, I'll leave links to all those guys down below. All right, so to start it out, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the actual backpack first because not only is this the backpack that I use and also the same company that's the maker of a lot of things inside the backpack, they're also the sponsor of today's video and obviously I'm talking about Tom Talk. Now, as I said, inside this backpack, there are a ton more things from Tom Talk that you're gonna see including the case for my Switch, the case for a lot of other things, and like I said, the backpack itself. They have all kinds of things for your tablets, Nintendo Switch, obviously, and Switch Lite. They have a ton of stuff. I'm gonna leave a link down below uh, to where you can get all this stuff specifically, except this backpack, because I do believe that this backpack is something uh, that they're no longer making. But they have a ton of other really cool ones, extremely high quality stuff, which I will also be talking about in this video. Links below, and again, thank you very much to Tom Talk for sponsoring this video. Okay, so the backpack itself. It's a pretty, you know, pretty standard backpack. I'm gonna be showing you guys B-roll as always, and you'll be able to check this thing out along the way, but it's kind of like, if you can see it in the light here, kind of like a uh, digital camo, sort of, but it's all different levels of matte or gloss, so you can't really see it unless you look at it the right way, but it's a nice look, it's a nice look. So let's start up here at the top. I don't even know what's, ah, there is something in here. This is a game cartridge holder that I got, uh, I think it was around this time last year, actually. I did a whole video on a bunch of these things. Uh, this video is obviously gonna be link heavy. I'll try to put them up here and I'll put them down below. And anyway, this thing is pretty cool. It's obviously got the Animal Crossing leaf right there on the front. Holds 16 games, which is enough, but this is something I'm not gonna be using going forward. And I'm doing an entire video on it, so if you're not subscribed, make sure you get subscribed so you see that, but this is going away. All of this is going away very soon. Video to come. So we will go to this pocket next. Uh, there's not a whole lot in here, and I'm gonna try to go fast over some of this stuff that you guys probably don't care about, like this. Uh, it's a little Pelican case for my memory cards, camera stuff. 
there is some of that in here, so we're not gonna we're not gonna take time on that. Uh, also, same thing. 500 gigabyte SSD. This is very important for video editing. And then a dongle because Apple. And then oh, here I got something good here. I always stick these in my backpack. I use them on stream sometimes when I'm playing Breath of the Wild, but these are Breath of the Wild uh, amiibo cards. They're actually not just Breath of the Wild. It's every single Zelda amiibo, and they're all over the floor. We'll get those in a minute. Anyway, they're all just these little tiny cards. They're about the same size as a Switch cartridge, but they're very small. These ones aren't the best ones. There are better ones. I will link these, and I'll link ones that I consider to be better down below as well, but these are really nice, especially if you just want to do amiibo drops in Breath of the Wild to get, you know, arrows and whatever, you know, the different armor and all the stuff that you can get. They are nice to have for that type of stuff, so like I said, link those below. I think that's all that's in this pocket. Now we're getting into the good stuff. Now, we're getting in to the main pocket. And the first thing I see right on top here, I have this case. I just started using this. This is interesting. I guess we can put this up here now. So I used to carry this controller without this case. It's from Skull & Co. They just sent this over. I'm gonna do another video on a bunch of stuff they just sent. They have a lot of new stuff. But inside of here, I have this, which is the Power A Nano controller. I I'm a huge fan of this controller. I really, really like this controller, and one of the main reasons I like it is because it's so small, and it doesn't take up any room in the backpack. But now, I, I don't know, it's kind of weird now because I've been putting it in this case. If I didn't have it in this case, it would take up a lot less room, but it is more safe in there. But as far as portability and a controller that I keep in my backpack all the time, the Power A Nano is the one. It's built really nice. I think it's actually built better than the regular size. Power A controllers. It is a little, a little bit smaller. Not, not crazy small, but it's a little bit smaller than the normal one. So if you have big hands, this may not be for you. But again, I did a full video on this. Link will be below for that. All right, we'll go into the back compartment here. Obviously, I've got the 13-inch MacBook Pro, which you guys don't care about. Ah, here's another awesome TomTalk case for my iPad Pro. This case actually does something really cool. I'm going to show you guys, uh, obviously, in other B-roll. But most cases only let you stand an iPad up like this, and some of them like that. But this one actually has a cutout right here that you can fold underneath. This magnetizes to the back. This goes underneath, and you can sit it right side up, which I haven't seen a lot of cases that can do that. I really like that. Again, made with top quality material. This thing is very, very nice. One more time, sponsor of the video, links below. Ooh, I do carry one more one more controller in my backpack, and it's the 8-Bit Do Lite. This is the only one I used to actually carry in my backpack before I got the Nano here. Obviously, this thing is super small. It's very, very tiny, and you can literally, I mean, you can put this in your pocket. There are no sticks. There's D-pads in the place of the sticks. So, yeah, you, you could really take this thing just about anywhere, even if you didn't have a backpack. But, again, problem is, it doesn't have sticks. It is, it's small. It's very small. I do like the buttons on it. I did a video on this a long time ago too, but this is definitely one I recommend if you are tight on space. This has all the buttons you need, so it's like a pro controller, but not. This one's good, and I do like to have at least two extra controllers. That way, when I have my Switch, if I am with two friends and we all decide that we want to play, I do end up having three full controllers, you know, with the Joy-Cons. And that actually is what I will show you guys next. I have another little cool, cool thing here that goes with the Joy-Cons. This is a, a weird little little thing made by a company called Bionic. So as you can see here on the side, it's got rails that, uh, that fit the Joy-Con on there. So you can put the Joy-Con on there and use this as a grip for your Joy-Con, but it actually turns on. Oh, it's a little dead. I have to charge that one. But it turns on and you can actually charge the Joy-Con on the side of this when you're using it. But you can use this in the USB-C port right there on the top to actually charge your Switch if you're out somewhere and it's dead. So this thing really has three functions. You can charge your Joy-Cons off of it, you can charge your Switch off of it, and you can use it as a grip. So you have a third controller with these three. So you have three controllers and this is how much room you're taking up. Now we'll get to my actual Switch now. Again, no surprise, I have an Atomtok Slim case. This is my favorite case for the Switch. I like this case so much. I actually have a few of them. I have another, hang on. I have another one right here. I have one for my Switch Lite. I really do like these cases. They have YKK zippers. They're tough, they're durable. And I've had these ones for a while and I still, I mean, there's literally no wear on these things at all. They're built to last. Again, sponsor the video. Links below. Make sure you guys check out TomTom. But another reason I really like this case is because it lets me put the Switch inside of it with the grip that I like to use for my Switch, which is obviously the Skull & Co. Crystal Case. I do like to use the smaller grips. Again, 
Got a video on this, which I'll link below, but there's other size grips. They come off, you can get them in different colors if you have not seen this. It is a very nice grip, but I do like the smaller ones, and with the smaller ones on there, I can fit it right inside of this case. Absolutely no problem. Good to go. Now, I do carry this with me. This is very, very, uh, it's very strange. I mean, obviously you guys know this is the Mario Game & Watch. And I'm sure once the Zelda one comes out, I'll probably replace this one with that one and put this one on a shelf or something. But I have played this a lot more than I thought I was ever going to play something like this. If you can find one of these still, get your hands on it, and even somewhat like the original Mario game, I, I highly recommend it. I've played the original Mario game more on this than I think I have on just about anything. I know as of the recording of this video, they're still able to be found out there. I, I think I saw some at Walmart the other day, but they made they made a lot of them. So if, if you were on the fence about one of these and still are thinking like, oh man, I wish I would have got one, I would go take a look. As of right now, you know, we're talking mid-July, you can still find these. But I do carry this in my backpack all the time. It has its own little pocket right here, so it, it stays safe. I've been looking for a case for this thing, but I cannot seem to find a case that's made for a Game & Watch. If anybody out there knows where I can find one of those, definitely leave that in the comments. But as far as I know, there's not one. So it does have its own little pocket, and it stays, uh, stays safe in there. All right, next. Cool stuff, but boring stuff. I have this little bag in here, and it's just full of small stuff. This I keep in the small bag. Obviously, right here's the dongle. It's the uh, the Epos wireless system. I'm not a huge fan of earbud style headphones, but these ones I do like, and the fact that they have a 2.4 gigahertz dongle that comes with them, it is a nice little system, and I keep it in here, you know, just in case I don't want to uh, I don't want to go go out with big headphones because that's what I normally like to use are headphones that go over my ears. I like the way they sound better. I like the way they feel. But if I'm in a situation where I don't want to use those, this is what I go to. Again, video on this. It'll be linked down below. I wonder how many links I'm gonna have at the end of this video. It's gonna be a lot. All right, next. Oh, this is this is a must. This is something I bought. I think the second or third day I had my Switch, and it is a Hori. Nintendo Switch car charger. Now I know there are gonna be people out there that say you cannot charge your you cannot charge your switch with something like that. It will mess your switch up. But I have not had any problem with this. And like I said, it is made by Hori and it's licensed by Nintendo. As you can see here, licensed by Nintendo. I don't know. Again, that, that's gonna be your decision. I've had no problem with it. And when you're on a long trip and you don't want to rely on just a battery, because you know, these only last so long. It's only gonna give you, I think this only actually gives the Switch maybe half a battery. So that's not gonna do for a long trip. This would definitely be something you wanted uh, over a battery for sure. So I keep both just in case. I have a lot more stuff in this backpack than I thought. Okay, so as I just told you, I have another set of headphones. And when I use those, which is most of the time, I'm using this Bluetooth adapter. It's the HomeSpot Pro. This is still, in my opinion, the best uh, Bluetooth adapter for functionality that's out there. Now this one's not made as nice as something like the Skull & Co one. That one is made nicer, but this one has two separate channels. So I can hook one channel up to the switch, to the headphones, and I can hear what's going on there. And then I can actually hook my phone up to the other channel. So let's say I'm playing a game handheld and I'm talking to people in Discord who I'm playing with. I can actually have my phone in my pocket with Discord open and I can hear them in my headphones and there's a microphone in this as well so they can hear me. All right, now this is also a pretty cool little thing. As I said, I have three controllers in this whole backpack setup here. So, so tabletop mode can happen if it has to, but this little box right here is actually a dock. Now I know that there's three or four different brands that make these. This one is from iFu. They actually sent this to me for another reason. They sent another product that I, I couldn't ever get to work. But this right here is very nice. All you do is plug the HDMI to the TV here, USB Type C, which I have the cable right here that came with it, and that's it. You're off and running. You can play on any TV, you know. And most of your friends, if you're going to someone's house, they're gonna have an HDMI cord, probably hooked up to something on the back of their TV already. So you hook into that and you're ready to go. All right. Last but not least. I do have these uh, these Bluetooth headphones, and they're not they're not the greatest. They're def they definitely were not cheap, but I think there are better ones out there. These have obnoxious bass, obnoxious low end. It literally shakes the headphones on your head. You can feel them moving, but they are very comfortable. And the bass does have a, a slider right here, so you can turn it down completely or off all the way. They sound pretty good, and like I said, I like the way they feel. The battery lasts for a decent amount of time. They are also noise canceling. Are they the best headphones out there? No, but all around, I think they're they're really nice. And they come with this nice case, so they're perfect for going in a backpack and you don't have to worry about them getting smashed or anything like that. So believe it or not, guys, I fit all this stuff 
Looking at it now, it's kind of uh, it's kind of hard to believe that all this stuff fits in this one backpack. But that is everything. That is literally everything I take with me every day. All this stuff right here that you're seeing lives in this backpack all the time. The only reason most of it comes out uh, is just to charge, really. But guys, if you have any questions about this stuff, make sure you leave them in the comments below. I will try to get back to you and answer them as soon as I can. There's going to be links to most, if not all of this stuff down in the description. So if you want to check any of this out, uh, feel free to do that. The Tom Talk link will be the top link. And I should have a discount code, which I'll put right here. I'm not sure exactly what that is yet, but I should have a discount code for you guys to use. I'll put that right here and make sure you guys have that. But guys, that is going to do it for this one. I hope this wasn't too echoey. I have a feeling it was. The way that I'm hearing this right now, I'm gonna get a lot of echo in here. But guys, that's gonna do it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like. Make sure you're subscribed. We'll see you in the next one.